Hola chicas, two thirds of millennials have at least one source of long-term debt and many are unable to get out of this financial slump. With us is Lauren Grootman who was able to get out of $40,000 debt and is now sharing her story and steps to living debt-free in her new book, The Recovering Spender. Thank you for joining us, Lauren. Thank you so much for having me. Of course. So tell us, what inspired you to share your story? Well, so I've been sharing my story online for years um, on my website and I, I just kept on getting emails from people um, a lot of millennials, a lot of middle age, of people that were struggling with keeping up with the Joneses, so to say, ha wanting the things that everybody else wanted. And I thought to myself, I've got to share my story of how I got out of debt. Mm -hmm. People are afraid to own credit cards, yep. especially millennials. Any tips in regards I, to opening an account? I would say be afraid of credit cards. That's what I would say. Um, I would say in my book, I actually, a lot of our debt was credit card debt. In the book, I did an experiment where I put myself back on credit cards for three months to see what would happen. And the result was is I spent an extra $2,000 more than I would have just because I was using credit cards. And so I would say if you can stick to a cash budget, do it. If you're going to do a credit card, get one that has gives you a low amount of um, credit available to you and with a 0% APR and use it and pay it off right away the same exact month. Student loan is becoming increasingly difficult. Mm -hmm. What advice do you have to these students in regards to their loans? Right, so I think that you need to really take a look at different ways to refinance. So there's, you can go around to all these different kinds of banks to consolidate. Uh, there's a great company called SoFi that you can go to and they, they will like look at all of your rates and, and help you consolidate so that you have that one low payment every month mm -hmm. with the lowest interest rate. But then on top of that, you want to make an extra payment every month to pay down that principal balance even faster. So even if it's $10, $20, I mean, doing that every single month, it can take years off of your the life of the loan. So they can just find, you know, stop going to coffee, you know, twice a week and put that money towards the loan. It'll take years off paying you off. You're teaching me tips yeah. here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Gotta stop that coffee. Gotta stop the coffee, <laughs> yes. So do you have any shopping tips? Because we love to shop, everyone loves to shop, they love to treat themselves. What do you think in regards yeah. to people saying, I deserve to treat myself to yeah. this expensive purse, to these new shoes. Okay, so um, I would say there's this one secret little ninja trick that I do. Okay, so if I'm gonna go shopping for something, instead of going directly to the website, I will go through Swagbox. Have you heard of Swagbox oh, I have before? Not. Okay, so Swagbox, you go in, you type in in the search engine what store you're gonna shop at, shop through their link, buy what you're gonna buy, and then you get cash back you get points that you can trade in for gift cards. Oh, wow. So um, if you're going to buy something, you might as well go through another portal that's going to give you money back. Okay. And so um, I always use that. It's kind of my little ninja trick. And one year I did that so much that I had enough gift cards to pay for Christmas presents for my kids. What? Yes. Thank you for joining us, Lauren. And everyone, be sure to pick up The Recovering Spender, available now, and stay tuned for more on Chica.